Thank you very much to the organizers of the conference for inviting me. And of course, along with everyone else, we wish them a great success. I'm going to talk about the facts of pornography, which is one of the great assaults on the family, but also on every individual, on each one of us here in this room. The conjugal act, the act of sexual intercourse, is central to all of human existence. It brings humanity into existence. It sets in motion the next generations of society. And sexual intercourse is one of the most powerful agents for good, if channeled well, but for ill, if not. Pornography has become an increasingly prominent feature in modern life, and yet it is associated with numerous serious negative outcomes for individuals and for families. And here are some of the data that we've compiled in a longer paper, the effects of pornography on individuals, marriage, and family in the community. Pornography is really a visual representation of sexuality, which distorts the individual's concept of the nature of conjugal sexual relations. This, in turn, alters both the interpersonal sexual attitudes and the behavior. It is a major threat to marriage, to family, to children, and to the individual's own happiness. Furthermore, in undermining marriage, pornography is one of the biggest factors in undermining social stability. It is addictive, and neuroscientists are beginning to map the biological substrate of this addiction. Users tend to become more desensitized to the type of pornography they use, become bored with it, and then seek more perverse forms of pornography. For instance, a recent study of college freshmen found that habituation to pornography led them to tolerance of sexually explicit material, requiring them to move, move to more novel or more bizarre material to achieve the same level of arousal or sexual interest. Pornography alters people's understanding of healthy sexuality. Prolonged consumption of pornography by men produces much stronger notions of women as commodities or as sex objects. Repeated exposure also prompted respondents in, in research to consider engaging in recreational sex as being important. Pornography also engenders greater sexual permissiveness, which in turn leads to a greater risk of out-of-wedlock births and STDs, and these in turn lead to still more social weaknesses and physical debilities over time. Men who view pornography regularly have a higher tolerance of abnormal sexuality, including sexual aggression, promiscuity, and rape. Pornography leads to distorted perceptions of social reality. This is really insanity. It's a mild form of insanity an exaggerated perception of the level of sexual activities in the general population, and an inflated estimate of the incidence of premarital and extramarital sexual activity being engaged by the people around one, as well as an increased assessment of male and female promiscuity, an overestimation of almost all sexual activities performed by sexually active adults and an overestimation of the general prevalence of perversions such as group sex, bestiality, and sadomasochistic activity. Thus, the beliefs being formed in the mind of the viewer of pornography are far removed from reality. A case could be made that repeated viewing of pornography induces a mental illness in matters sexual. The use of internet pornography makes participants almost four times more likely to engage in paid sex, in prostitution. Pornography is also related to sex crimes, and internet sexual offenders report more than 11 hours of their week as spent viewing porno pornographic images of children on the internet. Child sex offenders are much more likely to view pornography regularly and to be involved in its distribution. Now, some of the direct effects on marriage. Married men who are involved in pornography feel less satisfied with their conjugal relations with their wives and less emotionally attached to them. 
Prolonged exposure fosters dissatisfaction and even distaste for a spouse's affection. Cynical attitudes regarding love begin to emerge and superior sexual pleasures are thought attainable without affection towards partners. Thus, the consequences hold for both men and women who have, been who have had prolonged exposure to pornography with a decline in sexual happiness being the primarily due to the growing dissatisfaction with the spouse's normal sexual behavior. Among couples affected by one of the spouse's addiction, two-thirds experience a loss of interest in sexual intercourse. Pornography viewing leads to a loss of interest in good family relations. Both spouses perceive pornography viewing as tantamount to infidelity, that is, both the user and the other spouse. Furthermore, increased exposure to sexually explicit internet material increased favorable attitudes towards sexual exploration with others outside of marriage and decreased marital commitment to the spouse. Adults who steadily consume pornography are over three times more likely to be unfaithful to their spouses. The effect of pornography on the non-user, on the other spouse. In the vast majority of cases, about three out of four, it's the wives. Wives notice this change and are sometimes extremely upset and distraught by the change in their relationship. Their husband now prefers an image to her. She is often at a total loss on how to respond. Women commonly report feelings of betrayal, loss, mistrust, devastation, and anger as responses to the discovery or the disclosure of a partner's use of pornography or online sexual activity. Wives begin to feel unattractive or sexually inadequate and may become severely depressed when they recognize their, husband, their husband's viewing of pornography. This distress level in wives may be so high as to require clinical treatment for trauma, not for mere discomfort, for trauma. Pornography is also a major pathway to divorce. In one of the few studies, and the sampling is not, methodology is not perfect, but it's the only one that's out there, 56% of divorce cases involve one party having an excessive interest in pornographic websites. 47% of them were involved in spending excessive time on the computer, and 33% involved in spending excessive time in a chat room. That's where you're, it's essentially sexual chatting with someone else. Pornography is powerful enough even to overwhelm individual couples and families despite earlier affection and earlier good family life, whether between the mother and father or between the parents and the child. And the effects on youth are severe. The digital revolution has been used by younger and younger children to dismantle the barriers that channel sexuality towards family life. Many adolescents who initially view pornography for the first time initially feel shame, diminish self-confidence, and sexual uncertainty. But with repeated viewing, they quickly shift in an, into unadulterated enjoyment. However, the more often adolescents are exposed to sexually explicit material on the internet, the more sexually uncertain of themselves they become which actually makes them much more vulnerable to suggestions of different sexual orientation. What are the defenses and the solutions? Well, traditionally, government has kept a tight lid on sexual traffic and businesses. But in matters of pornography, what has waned almost completely, except where child pornography is concerned, is the traditional uh, rebuff and containment of pornography. One could say that government justice and its functionaries in the departments of justice have become totally desensitized to pornography. And given the massive deleterious individual, marital, family, and social effects of pornography, it is time for citizens, communities, and governments to reconsider this laissez-faire approach. 
on the home front and on the personal front, the main defenses against pornography are prayer and worship, frequent prayer and worship, close family life, a good marriage, good relations between the parents and the children, coupled with deliberate and intense parental monitoring of the internet use. The full research of this is available in the paper I talked about, The Effects of Pornography on Individuals, Marriage, Family and Community, which can be found on our website www.mari, and that's not with a Y, M-A-R-R-I, dot U-S. Thank you and God bless the conference.